Hey guys, welcome back to another 10 minute POV challenge. I'm gonna head out today around the streets of Paris and see how many photos I can take within 10 minutes. Now, all of the photos in today's video are edited with my presets. There's 114 down in the description for 10 pound. Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I'm out in Paris doing a 10 minute challenge. So I've got 10 minutes on the clock, 10 minutes to shoot as many photos as I can. There's a nice pocket of light here that I'm gonna use so we go back down here and just kind of wait for the frame to someone to walk into that frame. So I'm thinking, because there's a nice light in the middle, I'm gonna make sure I don't get run over. Just change up the settings a bit. So yeah, we got it on 800th of a second F2. And I'm just gonna kind of wait for someone to walk through that frame and make it go a little bit further back. I kind of want someone a bit closer to me though. Oh God. When you're on a time scale, it's so difficult to make sure you, you get the right shots. Okay, let's push into this light a little bit because I quite like it. Maybe I can get like a silhouette shot from here, shooting towards the light. Sweep someone to walk into that frame. quite nice to be honest because of the light like the lighting there is sick so maybe we can get something else for that lighting up here let's have a look there's loads of birds around maybe we can make that work but the light is disappearing so I don't want to like go into the shade too much maybe if I come down here there's a dude on the phone maybe I can get that shot so look yeah, that'll work Maybe with the background, maybe, even, maybe with the sun. We'll get down. It's 800 second F2. Camera on the left hand side of the frame. Like that. I think that would actually look nice in like a, a landscape as well. Okay, we'll take that. We'll come over to by the crossing. Maybe something here. Oh, this is going to be difficult because it's like so shaded here. I want that nice harsh lighting. Maybe if I kind of chill here for a little bit, just see if I can get some of this lighting. I'll just take a seat here, wait for someone to walk across the street, change the settings up. So I'm going to change it to, just to get that depth, I'm going to put it F1.4. I like F, uh, yeah, F1.4, 160 of a second. I don't know if I got that because I was like panning with them. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You guys saw it. So 1250th of a second, F1.4. Get a nice like crazy hectic shot of everyone walking across the street. Don't know if it worked. Maybe use these as like a bit of foreground. Come down to the left. <laughs> kind of worked. Yeah, maybe. Ah, oh, that could have been better, I think. Uh, dude sat over there. With his Nexus bike. Just wait for that person to walk through the frame. Sweet. Okay, let's push over here a little bit. over there on his bike stood there kind of using this as a bit of foreground sweet that was 1250 of a second f1.4 bit of a reflection maybe bit of a puddle reflection if we get down let's walk through the frame i think i'm gonna have to focus that a little bit better because it's like a thing on the floor so manual focus we're going to focus through the puddle and then wait for kind of someone to walk through the frame. Now I need to change that up a little bit. Focus was quite a little bit off there. Hoping this geezer to get out of the way. So I'm just going to quickly wait here. How long we got left on this? 
Sorry? So we've got six minutes left. Did we get that dude? Did we get him? Yeah, we're done. That's good. Okay, maybe we can get like a reflection shot of the of this thing here. There's a there's a puddle down here. Let's see if we can get one of the archway. Oh, it's gonna be difficult because it's so like obviously I'm on the 85, so it's gonna be really difficult to get the shot. Oh no, I don't know if I can be able to do this. Okay, 160 of a second. The puddle's moving quite a lot because of the wind. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the focus, give me the focus. I think I can get down a little bit more. Come on. Need to go back a bit. I need the wind to stop. Okay, that'll have to do. You get the idea of the concept. You can just copy and paste that. Maybe if we go like straight down, maybe we can get like a shot straight down the middle of this uh, archway. Oh, this will look cool. Okay, let's get the settings. We're gonna put it F1.4. 1250th of a second take it off manual focus auto focus and we just want to want to kind of get someone in the middle of the frame maybe these people walking across the frame here it'd be cool if i got someone up there like in the center i've got to make sure i don't get run over what about the moped it's quite a sick shot hopefully he's going to go left a little bit get him in the center of the frame Oh, these are sick, that's sick. I want someone crossing the road there. Oh, yes. Go on. Nah, too slow. I want one single subject. Go on, dude. Cross the road, cross the road, cross the road, cross the road. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Moving on. Okay, there's a dude here with like a wide brimmed hat on. Which way is he gonna go? He's gonna cross the road. So landscape, 640 of a second. We'll take that. Nice, quick, simple. How long we got left on the timer? We've got three minutes left, three minutes remaining to get some shots. I think maybe we can get something with this bus stop over here. Lights coming back in. Oh, I don't know, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Maybe we've got like two minutes left. What we do, what we do, what we do. Oh my god. Like fuck all time left. Dude crossing the road. We'll take those. Anything at the moment. There's a downside to these 10 minute challenges, it really pushes you to get the shots. Probably got like a minute or something left. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Oh, this is cool. All the birds flying over. This is nuts. Ah, I'm running out of time. Okay, that'll do. I'll just have to do. Uh, maybe this geezer here. We'll have to probably finish it on this one. What are we on? How long we got? A minute and a half left. It's so good to do these to get your eye in because like you've got to really think about what you're shooting. Um, yeah, dude on the phone. I think as he kind of goes past here. Let's get the shot. Drop the ISO down to 100. That'll do. gotta be here I think it's gotta be here I think we're gonna have to let me get one more let's go down to this light let's get one more in this light maybe the dude over there 
with his moped. Nah, what shit. Oh, this here, this will be the last one. We'll call this the last one with this dude sat. Oh, that's nice. You know, I'm gonna take my time to get this shot. This will be the last shot. We'll get one in landscape as well. Sick. One more. <laughs> Sweet, done. Let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Okay, I think all of those photos actually turned out pretty good. The lighting was optimum. Now, for the rest of the week, it's kind of looking a little bit glim, grim, glim? That was like glim and grim. Grim for the rest of the week, so a lot of rain coming up. However, kind of my plan here in Paris is to do a little bit of night stuff, a little bit of day stuff, do some film stuff and just kind of relax and, and chill. We're gonna jump into the hashtag, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram where you guys can show me the work that you're creating. And in turn, it inspires me to go out and create content around the cities that I get to visit. So we're gonna to go to the most recent, we're gonna throw a screen record on, and we're gonna go through and see which ones kind of catch my eye. We'll do a little refresh. Now, first of all, there's this portrait one that I've just seen um, at the top. Not portrait, sorry, like street one. This one here. This street shot is sick. That's in Czech Republic in Prague. Really love like the green tinge and the green tone to that. Uh, going down, let's go down a little bit further. Um, just trying to grab ones that are like, bam. You know, the ones that like really stand out. This street shot here, really sick. Love the colors, like you kind of made the, the dude in the in the frame, the center of the frame kind of pop a little bit. There is a little bit of ghosting around him, like just down here. I would have tried to maybe brush that out so it kind of blended in a little bit more seamlessly, but great shot nonetheless. Um, going down a little bit more, another great street shot that's in London. Love the colors, great colors, dude. Um, this really simple shot I really like, and I just saw another simple shot just below as I clicked on that which was this one here. That's sick. Again, another one in London. I should probably stop picking ones in London, but it's so sick. Um, let's go down a bit further. Uh, got some like long exposure stuff on the screen. Looks really cool. One of Paris, very on point, very sick. Um, I'm hopefully gonna go out tonight and do some night stuff. Might be a night POV, might just be like a night vlog, not entirely sure, but that's, oh, I definitely wanna try and get that shot. That would like a longer exposure would look sick. Um, and then let's do, let's just do, did I like that? Yeah, I did. Let's do one more. Let's go with, do a little bit of a scroll and we'll go with one on the screen here. Let's have a good look. I think for me, it's gonna be this one, the reflection in black and white. You've got the black and white, you've got the reflection. It looks sick. And I think, do you know what? Like I'm starting to like really start to enjoy black and white photography and I'm hopefully gonna do a film black and white one here in Paris and it's gonna look really sick. Like the streets here are insane, like the architecture, everything, it's amazing. With all that being said, create more stress less, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.